Hi guys, I received a word from the Lord on June 15, 2014. The title of this word is Holy Warriors They Shall Be. Um, to set this up so that you uh, better understand this word as I read it to you, the Lord here is speaking about people who are not even born again yet. But, but He has called them. He has chosen them. He's going to bring them in to his kingdom and he's going to set them on fire for him and they're going to be a mighty part of his end time army and the Lord in this word is speaking to his generals and to his leaders in his army in his end time army that's who he's speaking to okay I'm going to go ahead and read this to you a mighty generation shall come forth a generation which shall be called by my name Mighty warriors they are. The enemy seeks to destroy them. He wars against them on every side. He thinks he has them right where he wants them. Ha! Holy warriors in my kingdom I have called them to be. Mighty warriors in my kingdom they shall be. Who can oppose me? They will call to me and I will hear their cry. I will deliver them from the darkness that sought to contaminate the core of who I created them to be. They hunger and thirst for me. Their souls are parched and broken. They search for love. They search for me. I am love. They find nothing to satisfy their souls. I am the drink of water they search for. There is no satisfaction outside of me. The enemy has stripped all their dignity. Shame and hopelessness is their daily bread. They shall search for me and they shall find me. I am resurrection life to all who find me. Whew. Feel the Holy Spirit. The hands of the devil shall be broken. Radical soldiers they shall be. They shall be filled with my holy fire. Holy warriors they shall be. The ones who trample them underneath their feet shall be trampled by my holy warriors. Are you ready, my generals, for the new recruits? Prepare, my army rises. Okay. Father God, Lord, we just thank you for this word. And Lord, we declare yes and amen. And Lord, we declare that yes, yes, Lord, your army is rising. And we declare yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Many shall turn to you. Many shall come to your light. Many are right now being freed from the hand of the devil. Lord, we thank you for this. Many levels of freedom. Lord, you've spoke this to us before. Many levels of freedom are coming. And Lord, we declare it. We believe it. And we thank you for it, Lord God. Now, Lord, help us to prepare. God, help us to prepare to train, to equip, to love the new recruits. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord, to have your mind and your heart and to love them as you love them and to pour into them everything that they need, Lord, which comes from you. It all comes from you. And, Lord, we thank you and we praise you for it. In Jesus' mighty name, we love you so much. Amen. I do want to read a scripture. But I would like to say... Guys, this army that the Lord is talking about here, he says, he says they're bombarded from every side by evil. Guys, there's never been a generation like this. There has never, it's never been this bad. Where so many people are so demonized. And it's because the plans of the enemy has worked to tempt people, to 
trick people into uh, doing demonic, evil things, satanic worship, the occult, any of the occult, witchcraft, wizardry. They're pumping it into our children, okay? And so much evil, child abuse, sexual abuse, and there's always been that stuff. I'm not saying there hasn't been, but not like today. Not like today. The evil, the flood of evil coming in from every direction, the deceptions, the lies, tricking, tricking this generation into sexual promiscuity, every form of sexual perversion known to man is rampant and, and being pushed as though it's normal and okay and acceptable, and it's not. And it is a trick of the devil to gain entry to gain entry into people, yes, those who have accepted Christ and those who have not. If you open the door up, they will come in. We've talked, I've talked about that many times. That yes, if we open the door, they will come in. But many times before someone is even born again, they're already very demonized, extremely demonized. And uh, but th there's never been a generation that is so demonized as this one. But I tell you what. The Lord is going to do... The Lord has secrets, okay? The Lord has tricks up his sleeve, okay? And I know the church is in pathetic shape. And there aren't very many deliverance ministers out there that can help people. But God has a plan. He, ha he has to have a plan. And he does have a plan. He has to have a plan that's bigger than his church. That's for sure. But uh, those who those who are forgiven much, they love much. And this that, that's, why these, that's why these people, kids, teenagers, young adults, and adults, they're going to be radical lovers of Jesus, and they're going to do so much damage to Satan's kingdom because they are going to be forgiven of much because their depth of sin is very, very deep. And their, their depth of bondage is very, very, very deep. Very deep. So I want to read a scripture to you that talks about this. Luke 7, 37 through 47. I'm reading out of the modern King James Version. And this is what it says. And behold, a woman, a sinner in the city, knowing that he reclined in the Pharisee's house, speaking of Jesus, brought an alabaster vial of ointment. And she stood behind him weeping at his feet. And she began to wash his feet with tears and wipe them with the hair of her head. And she ardently kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. But seeing this, the Pharisee who had invited him spoke within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what kind of woman this is who touches him, for, for she is a sinner. And answering, Jesus said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And he said, Teacher, speak. There was a certain creditor who had two debtors. The one owed 500 denarii and the other 50. And they, having nothing to pay, he freely forgave both. Then which of them do you say will love him most? And answering, Simon said, I suppose that, that one to whom he forgave most. And he said to him, You have judged rightly. And he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered into your house, yet you gave me no water for my feet. But she washed my feet with tears and has wiped them with the hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman, since the time I came in, has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my 
feet with ointment. Therefore I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she, for she loved much. But to whom little is given, he loves much. Guys, what this is saying is, is that because that woman was forgiven much, she loved Jesus so much because he had done so much for her. She, he had set her free from, from deep sin. And that's the way this generation is. The Lord is going to set them free. He is going to set, they're full of, they're, many, many are full of demons. God is going to set them free. And when he does, they are going to love him much. They are going to be radical, sold out lovers of Jesus, willing to lay down their life for their master, for their Lord, for their Savior, for the lover of their soul, for their Redeemer, the one who set them free and healed them and gave them peace and joy and happiness and every good thing. Because He's a good God, right? When we love Him and obey Him and serve Him, He gives us every good thing. And we have so much joy so much joy, you know, and I'm not talking about monetary things, even though, yes, God blesses his children. He wants us to be blessed in every way. But the Lord, you know, even if we don't have two nickels, <laughs> we can be so happy, so full of the joy of the Lord. It's all the difference in the world. Jesus makes all the difference. So, guys, get ready. If you're a general in God's army, a commander, if you're a leader in the army of God, get ready, because they're coming. They're coming. They're going to have, <laughs> they might have purple hair and piercings all over their bodies and tattoos just from head to toe, <laughs> but God's going to save them and set them free, and they're going to be, they're going to be frontline soldiers, okay? <laughs> they're going to be frontline soldiers, so as mamas and daddies and as leaders, we're going to have to to love them and teach them and train them and guide them and help them. Amen. Well, that's all I have for right now. God bless you guys. I love you. Bye-bye.